Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Scott with Off Grid Stoves and More, your Integra 1 and Rika Integra 2 specialist that keeps you up and running, has all the parts that's necessary in order to keep mama happy. You know what I'm saying? Today's video, we had a customer that called us up. We just recently put a Rika Integra 2, a 2006 and newer uh, motherboard upgrade video on. And we had a couple of people that are like, okay, that's great for the 2006 and newer, but can we upgrade the motherboard on my older 1992 uh, Integra 1? Well, can we? Well, let me tell you, absolutely we can. And it's actually pretty easy. You don't have to send us your motherboard in the mail for reprogramming like you do with the Rika Integra 2. Uh, all we have to do is send you a, what's called an EEPROM chip. What it is is a memory chip that is mounted on your motherboard and it will increase all of the functions of the stove. It'll help your stove run more efficient. Um, well, let me tell you what, I'm gonna go through all of the EEPROMs just so that you have the information after you look at your board and see what version you have, that's going to uh, help some of you out there that when I talk about the Integra One and I mention that, you know, if you have a 12 minute startup, well, some of you have a newer stove, a newer version of the EEPROM to where you actually, you know, could have up to a 16 minute startup and we're getting emails saying, hey Scott, I have a 16 minute startup and you mentioned a 12 minute startup. So let me go ahead and clarify. Um, so this'll kind of clear the water here for you out there that I made it, I may have created some confusion for you. The first version is the 2.3. That just operated the stove at the best uh, way possible when it was introduced into uh, the US. The next version that was sent to us uh, or offered to the public was a 2.4. Now a 2.4 was another just basic chip and what they did is they ended up creating a 12 minute startup. From the 2.4, basic chip, if you got that chip or any of the chips that I'm about ready to list, all the way up to the newest chip available uh, that we have in inventory that we can uh, sell to you to put in is a 3.5B, okay? The 2.5 uh, was introduced with um, a longer startup. They changed it to a 15 minute startup and at that point, they created the convection fan delay. Okay, for some of you that need to have a little more clarification, that is when during the startup, it drops the pellets, it ignites, or you're actually lighting them, and you're heating it up. From the moment that you end up pushing the on button, you have a 15 minute countdown, okay? That countdown is going to uh, give you the opportunity to fire those pellets off and create enough heat in order to trip the uh, 120 degree low limit snap disc. Okay, when that snap disc engages, it then creates a continuous circuit, sends power to the convection fan uh, after the startup time. That was the very first EEPROM. So for you out there that have written us and said, hey, look, um, my, my stove comes on as soon as I hit the on button, well, you got a 2.4 or a 2.3, okay? Uh, the next version out there was the uh, 2.5A, and same startup um, with the convection fan delay, but this was the first version to where you could use a battery backup system. If you try to use a battery backup system before the 2.5A chip, you could fry your board. Don't do it. For some of you out there, unfortunately, I know that you have tried and you blew your board and we sold you a new board. 
okay? But we also upgraded you to the newest chip uh, when we ended up, you know, sending you the new board. 2.5A battery backup system. The next uh, was the 3.1, and the 3.1 was the very first version of being able to add a self-igniter unit to your stove. If you pull your burn pot out, and when you're facing your stove and you look to the left firewall uh, below the uh, floor of the uh, firebox, you'll see either a knockout, or if you don't have the knockout, then it becomes a little more difficult and you have to actually drill a one inch hole through the sidewall in order to get a igniter, a, blah, 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 an igniter casing installed for your unit. Um, that was the EEPROM version to where they increased from the 15 minute startup to the 16 minute startup uh, to give the igniter more time to ignite the pellets before it turned on the convection fan. Dighty. So after the 3.1, there was the 3.3. 3.3 was pretty much uh, just an air issue to where uh, adjusting the combustion fan with the air sensor, yada, 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 really didn't do much other than enhance the, uh, the burning capabilities of the stove. Next was the 3.5B. That's the newest version which we sell to anybody that wants to upgrade their board. We don't mess around with any of the previous due to the fact that once the 3.5 is installed, you have every option at the most efficient uh, settings. Uh, you can add an igniter. Um, and the 3.5B was the first year to where um, they added a cleaning cycle. Well, Scott, what is a cleaning cycle? Well, let me tell you. The cleaning cycle is once an hour, your stove would stop feeding pellets and it would ramp up the RPMs on your combustion fan and help increase the air intake into the burn pot and it would actually blow the clinkers, and clinkers is the leftover deposits from burning the pellets, blow them out of the burn pot and help keep the burn pot clean so you didn't have to shut your stove down or you didn't have any misfires from the clinkers building up and uh, pretty much plugging your burn pot up and it didn't it, then it doesn't receive oxygen and then your stove goes out. And then you're like, oh man, here we go. Now I gotta shut down and clean my stove. The cleaning cycle was one of the best things that Osterflom could do uh, with the Integra One because it allowed you to burn your stove longer without having to uh, do any maintenance to it to keep it going. So it really is that easy. That information um, is to help all of you out there that if you look at your board and you see that you have anything below a 3.5B, get on the uh, computer, email us and say, Scott, I saw that video. I want my stove to have that cleaning cycle. I want the ability to put a battery backup system in case the power goes out, um, yada, 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 okay? The best way to have the best integral one is to uh, purchase a 3.5 BE prom from us. We got them in stock, we'll shoot you one, They're easy to put in. And uh, let me show you here exactly how easy it is to put it in. It's gonna be just a short clip so that you understand Even mama could do it. Check this out. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the one and only EEPROM changeout video ever made. At least that we know of. So, what we were talking about in the video is uh, upgrading your board to the most recent EEPROM chip, which is the 3.5B. If you have anything other than a 3.5B and you're watching this video, 
walk over to your computer, email us at offgridstoves at gmail.com and say, Scott, I want a 3.5B so I have a cleaning mode. I have a battery backup option. My stove is going to operate at the most efficient rate that it possibly can. So here we go. Now, as you're going to see, these are not gonna be my man hands in the uh, video. This is Julie. Uh, Julie does not have the uh, black rifle coffee shaking problem that I have. So you do not want to damage this EEPROM. Uh, Julie, can you show them the uh, legs on the EEPROM on the other one there? Okay, the legs on these EEPROMs are very delicate. They will bend, you will bend one trying to get this installed. Uh, just be very careful that you don't break them off. If you bend them, just straighten them out. Okay, so what Julie's going to do is she's gonna show you that you just wanna very carefully pry up on each side of the EEPROM and lift it up. You do not want to lift up one side and potentially break off, uh, break off a leg because if it gets stuck down in there, you know, it's just gonna be an inconvenience. So we don't wanna do that. So as Julie's doing here, she is very carefully lifting that EEPROM out. Now she's going to take the new one in. Now there is a very important feature that on the EEPROM that you have to take note. She just pointed to it. Can you point one more time? Okay. okay. On the end of the EEPROM, you will see a little notch as she's pointing out there. On the motherboard, there is another notch. The notch on the EEPROM in your hand must be facing out to the exterior of the motherboard. If you install it any other way, your stove will not operate. She's really being gentle and taking care and installing those little legs in the little portholes and making sure that each one goes in. If it does not, if you get, I'm not even sure how many legs are on there, but if you get 99 out of 100 of them installed, it's not going to work. So just make sure that each one of those little legs goes down into the board uh, very carefully. And then once it's sitting in there, you're going to want to give it a, uh, a little nudge, a little push to make sure that it's making good contact. Now while she's doing that, I want you to take note. You see that uh, transformer that's hooked up to the board? It really kind of blew me away because we took this stove in on trade. Somebody ended up blowing their transformer and had a little electronic knowledge uh, under their belt and they installed an aftermarket transformer on there. Uh, kudos for giving it a try. Who knows, could have been somebody that uh, didn't have uh, access to a new uh, motherboard. But as all of you guys out there know, if you need any parts, motherboard, whatever, we have them. So you can just shoot us an email and we'll shoot them right back to you. Um, so you can see that Julie is, you have to have pretty good eyesight too. But as you can see, she got it in and there. And they spring out a little bit sometimes too. So you gotta kind of push one side in, but you wanna push it down flat. But it's in. All right. Line up. So as you can see there, it's that easy to install the uh, new EEPROM. This board has uh, major issues and it's just for video purposes. And uh, matter of fact, I just found this one. And I can it on the set. Let me tell you, cheap seats. So anyhow, uh, that's what it's pretty much going to take in order to upgrade your board. We have the 3.5 BE proms in stock. You're saying, hey, Scott, man, that's not a 3.5 B on your uh, board that you just installed. No, it is not. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to walk over and grab one. I just went ahead and used the 3.3 A. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions, email us at offgridstoves at gmail.com. Uh, we'll hook you up with whatever parts you need. If you have any questions about uh, your stove acting up, just shoot, shoot us a message and uh, we'll get right back to you as quick as we possibly can and we'll get you up and running in no time. Thanks a lot. Peace.